don't correct people's grammar in the public if i told that you have to correct the person do it politely politely and privately someone is talking something next to that auntie you know um, and it was worse and it's not uh, no now i know that <laughs> actually i have guilty of that something you're welcome back to talk sweet a girl yep that's me that's me that's me you're welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching and give me the opportunity to bless your soul every time i come to post and if you've been here thank you for supporting me thank you for everything you've done and also thank you for those that shared my during i was in my pre-content i need to go back to my previous video but i'm thinking about it here thank you so much for those that contested and those that won and if you don't if you didn't, if you didn't know about the contest don't worry next time there will be a content and next time i'm going to make it as as like as viral as possible so that people can get the opportunity to contest for the the money and you know get it give a giveaway sorry so okay so today i'm going to be talking about basic etiquette okay so why i decided to call this topic is because there was a time that a friend of mine was teaching it and i'm like wow this would be really bad i'm talking about this thing in my channel because people don't really know about this thing like it just acts because they want to act because i feel i wish i just feel like this is how it should be so i should be but it's not how it should be there are some rules getting some things you don't just come and do what you feel it should be like that you get so that's the reason why i'm playing on this video today so why don't you stick with me to the end don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell you know and comment down below all right so let's get right into the video all right so um basic etiquette is defined as formal rules and murmurs that are considered sacred and acceptable in the society so according to my own definition i just feel like basic etiquette are things that you should know that guides a community that guides like things that ideally psychologically this should be how it should be because you're not hurting anybody feelings you get you're actually making person feel good feel humanly you get that's what basic etiquette that to me applies what it means you get so that's my own definition of basic etiquette there are things that you should do that ideally unless you're not you're having mental problem or you're not in the right senses but if you are a normal person these are the things that you should be like these are the things that we grew up to know you get apparent totals these are the things you get so like that's how i think basic etiquette are all right so we have types of basic etiquette we have meeting etiquette like when when you when we have a meeting gathering you know all these things there's some there's a way you have to behave there are rules guiding how you should behave you can't just come and start screaming you can't just come and start you know walking in the front of the when you're doing the meeting you just walk and pass by as by your father's house you get they are meeting etiquette then we have wedding etiquette you can't just come all these people that will come hey what the, where's my food now oh, my food my food now you know it doesn't make any sense like if you are educated if you are learned that kind of, those kind of things should be people that haven't gone to school or they don't know what they should do you get but if you're learning you should know that normally if i'm you're gonna say wait i'll say excuse me excuse me because i haven't gone like like politely like you know car it's someone that has you know that thinks whoa you get so that's the right way you to ask you get so that's when it again then we have eating etiquette when they say when you're eating don't talk when you're eating food these are things you don't do like this are eating etiquette then we have telephone etiquette how you should talk when someone calls you when you say miss call try and return the call all this kind of things an emergency or let's or your shy and disturbing you i don't know about that one shot but you get the point right all right so these are the etiquette that i was able to put down don't worry this video will not be really long i just hope that this this video helps many people i'm gonna shake so many tables like i'm gonna shake people's table like very well so if your table is being shaken sorry you i hope you also try and learn and in as much i'm trying to tell you guys how basic etiquette should be like me too i'm actually talking to myself because as some things i'm guilty of like i know that i'm still working on it all right i'm not really perfect but ideally you shouldn't do these things if you know that you're thinking well and okay, one of them is offer up your seat okay so um offer up your seat is like let's say for example now you're in a bus or you're in a gathering and there are many seats that all the seats are filled up and then you see a pregnant woman or you see an elderly woman you don't and you know that well if you have if you can't stand you're not gonna die like nothing will happen to you why don't you just offer that seat to the person that is less less you know less that is compromised that's the word he has compromised because you know this person can't stand down but you are there you just sit down for your chair spa your father's house but ideally i know i know that yes 
nobody forces anybody to do anything but you should just be out of the will of your love because if you were in the same shoes you'd have preferred somebody to do that same thing to you do you understand so try to offer up your seat in the public where you see people like are less privileged they don't know they're not actually in the right stable mind you get you offer the person you're saying you stand it won't kill you in a matter of time you guys just talk the things and go out so you get so second one is avoid man spreading i'm going to take, i'm going to put a video of what, what man spreading looks like it's going to be on the screen so man spreading is kind of like in the, like you go to church like in the church now and then you open your like especially for ladies this is for ladies this is for ladies now let's say for example now you open your lap and you're like teaching you in the church and you're wearing your gown and you're just sitting and you forgot to okay let's say that the, the pastor was saying things that are so funny and are so impactful that you forgot how to sit properly in the church or not in the church in a gathering there open your laps for the whole world to see the tights you're wearing or the pants you're wearing ideally that's not right in as you'll be carried away by whatever if i thought you're gonna wear a short gown when look hot and skimpy just try it. try go and get a, a hanky or something you guess so in case you get carried away in the whole thing you won't be carried away and then show the world what you're wearing you get so try and get some hanky and put it on your laps so if i thought you're gonna wear short things you get so so you don't forget i would avoid man spreading you get my point say excuse me you know so people so people can be really annoying let's say you're like for example in the market i know that's why it's called a market place anyways but ideally it's not normal you just call my agent you just close also and you know it's like you say who's also you shift the person like when you say excuse me you wait you get let the person shift then you pass you know, say excuse me, excuse me. I will present excuse me. I'm pushing the person away. Then why do you say excuse me? Why don't you just push the person away? You know, say the excuse. You understand? Ideally, or okay, apart from saying excuse me, another way to that people can find it really annoying is that when you want to call somebody's name, you are like, hey, hey, what's your name? Hello, hello. That thing is actually doesn't make any sense. If I was that person, I would really get pissed. Even if you cannot say, if you cannot remember the person's name, just say hello, dear. Hi, please. You all this very cute, nice thing. You know, say hello, hiss, hiss. Okay, and yeah, excuse me, whenever you are, you are in a position to actually do something, you want to pass, say excuse me, it won't kill you, like, it's ideal, it's a learned person should do that, someone that thinks well should do that, do you get me? So, that's what I think. Okay, next is learn to say please and thank you. People are fond of entitlement, oh well, she's my friend, so why should I say thank you? No, even if somebody gives you things like 100 times, 1 million times, still keep saying thank you. Because if the person had opportunity of not giving it to you, he won't give it to you. Perhaps there are other people in the person's life that would have given it to. So ideally, say thank you. Even our heavenly father in heaven always demands that you say thank you. You thank the God. You worship him. You do things that will make him happy. How much more a man on earth? Do you understand? Try to say please. Or if you want to get something, say please, can you give me this? Even if, even if, even if you feel like the person has used your thing or something. I'm not in the person's possession. Try to say please, can I get your distance? Please. Like... Even if someone that is not in a very good mood, know that please go to self. I was already helped to calm the person's spirit. Do you understand? Please, when you're saying things, when you need to get things from people, don't just say it out there, put it out there. Like you're ordering the person. The person can get peace and just flip, fling at you again. So just try and say please. And let like me say thank you when you're giving me Next one is step outside understand? to answer phone calls if necessary. People are fond of this is like for like a, a meeting etiquette. Let's say there's a gathering here. And yes, also that, also as well, to put your phone on silence. Ideally, when you're in a meeting, you don't want to disrupt people that are there because it's not just you that are in a meeting. You get try and put your phone on silent and also try that if the call, like so if a call is very important for you to pick, all right, just try and just pick the environment, like go outside and pick the call. If it's very important for you to pick, they can't pick it there. Just make sure you can, don't distract people there. Okay, another way to show you, someone might ask me that like, what if you're in a very big, large, of large crowd and then there is no place for you to come out? Then once I see that sometimes if it's very very urgent, I might just put the like, I might just put the phone on like so the person can hear that I'm in, I'm in a play in the church. The person get the message and I will call the call. You get you get so that could work too. You get so that the person can know that you're not in the right place to talk about this thing or you can't come out. You get unless it's very 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 very. Urgent. Another one is look at the person speaking to you. People are fond of this. Stop holding your phone. Your phone can wait. You will not die if you do not hold your phone. All right, when someone is talking to you, that like the doctors in our CMD, there's this conference they taught us about that even a patient and doctor relationship, when the patient is talking to you, look at the patient. This shows empathy, this shows concern, this shows compassion that I care about you. Let's say, for example, you're talking to me now, and I'm like, uh -huh. oh, okay, okay. No matter how you feel like you're, in, you're into the conversation, you're not completely into the conversation. 
just looking at the person eyeball to eyeball has shown interest like i want to listen to you i want to know what you have to say i want to know how i can help do you get so please let's try now someone is speaking to you try to look at the person eyeball to eyeball if you have to if you have to pass the person if you have to help the person do something but please try to put your phone away you will not die okay all right if i saw you need to listen to your phone you're like please can we talk about this later i really need to pick this call or you need to chat this person yet yeah, it's very important don't just put the person off and then you don't tell the person anything you'll be trying for me that you're pressing phone and also listen to the conversation it doesn't make any sense please cough or sneeze into your elbow your handkerchief or your hand if you're in a public place don't do it first of all that's exactly like you're passing out co like communicable disease, disease to the outside and it's not good it's airborne disease let's say you have kata you're giving the person be by, by your side um, a communicable disease and that's not fair all right so ideally if you're with your hanky just sneeze on it if you're with your hand, you can use your hand and sneeze on it. Or if I thought what I used to do more, then whenever I don't want it to be I just try and like I pick my nose. Then it doesn't really come out. It just I don't know. It just I don't know how it does, but it just, I just don't sneeze really well. You get hey, I prefer the sneeze from coming out. If you can't do that on time, maybe sneeze like this or like this, or you get a hanky, you get. So that's like ideally you should do. Please don't sneeze in the public. It doesn't speak well of you. It doesn't speak well of, well of it to the public. You get so please let's take it of that. Another one is learn people people's names. Well, I'm actually talking to myself because I suck at remembering people's name. Like I just don't know why. I try, but if I feel if I don't talk to you like per time most of the time, I really don't know how to remember your name. You get so people are really good at like the lecturers can come into class, they come and let everybody's and the next thing left class, they are really so confident at everybody's name. I'm not that good in that, and I know I I, I know I own up at that. But what I try to do, I don't tell you, excuse me, hello, hello. I say hello dear. Hello, please. You know, tap the person. Just like trying to come close to the person. Or if you have to, if, even if you have to ch chase the person to call the person. Like somebody did something that was really annoying yesterday to me. Was trying to call me all the way from downstairs. I was in the fourth floor. Because, hey, listen. I was so pissed. Like you want to tell me something. You couldn't call me on the phone. You couldn't come and meet me in my room. You were shouting my name all the way from downstairs. Something I don't really want to talk about to the whole, the whole hostel. It doesn't make any sense. Please, let's try if I thought you need to talk to somebody, don't shout somebody's name in the, unless you say you're afraid maybe you're going to try to join. But if it's something that you people are not really very close, the formal talk, don't go out there and start shouting. Let people's name if you can, all right? It's really, it's really, it definitely has a way to create relationship. When someone realizes that, oh, this person knows my name. Okay, I like this, you know? Even me too, I like you when someone knows my name and calls me my name. We're like, wow, you know my name? Okay, that's good. Yeah, so try and let them intentionally if you want to. You can try. It helps the communication. You get it helps out very well. Okay, another thing is dress well. Huh? This cannot be overemphasized. Please, like me particularly, I take this very personal. Please dress well. Like, okay, okay, there was a time I had an experience with a guy. I had an experience with a guy. The guy was for me that um, I think he wore he wore a jersey with a bedroom slippers and or trouser to come to walk to, like, it was crazy it was really i was like okay you asked me out on a date and you're dressing this way okay so what is this please if you're good like i dressed well actually it wasn't because i i, I think okay okay imagine if i also wore bedroom slippers let us be doing mad mad now let me wear a bedroom slippers you get and wear jesse i know and when one day the other trouser like it's if you're going to be mad let us all be mad together but ideally, dress well. Like, it speaks well of you. It gives you this self-esteem. These are the benefits of basic etiquette. It gives you this, this self-esteem. Talk well. Speak well in the public. It helps you out. You know, when you dress well and you go to talk to somebody, the person will not take you for granted. Because they will do first. You don't think people are actually looking at you. You don't know. People are, they say the way you dress is the way you be addressed. Please dress well. When you go into any location, dress for the occasion. Don't look like a mad person. You'll be like, are you, why are you all here? If you're going for a date with a girl or a girl going to a date with a guy, please dress well. You mostly have to dress so out, but at least look decent, look presentable. Of course, you have common sense, and you know what being presentable looks like. If you don't even know, ask your roommate, ask your friend, auntie, uncle, how do I look? Is this okay? Fine. Do you get? Please, let's try to dress so. Like I like the, it's a major turn for me. If you don't know how to dress well, come to meet me. Like I've already said that. CV out of my life. I'm telling you, let me be sincere with you. Because first of all, I come from a family that they dress really well. Okay? And no matter how I try to say, okay, I'm going to manage dressing, it just turns me off every time I see you not dressing well. 
because I always do dress well. All right, so please, why can't you? I don't want to uh, wait until everyone is served before you start eating. You you went out for a girl's outing. You guys went for an outing with your guys, and then you people are ordering something. The next thing, everybody are not there being said. The next thing, you start eating. 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 It doesn't make any sense. What did you do? Me advice in case you've been in that situation. You have you have been doing that. Please stop it. It's not good. What advice is that? What I will tell you is that next time, whenever you're in a garden of people and people are served, wait till everybody's served, then you start eating with everybody, okay? The food is not running, all right? Ideally, that, unless people are running out of time, people are trying to rush things, then they get. But do not eat when everybody's not served. It's not good. Don't clip your nails, brush your hair, floss your teeth, or pick your nose in the public. Don't do that. That doesn't make any sense. You come. You want people to do? Rest him. Lick it up. Like, what the? <laughs> oh my god. Please. Okay. Please just try and don't try. Don't comb your hair in the public. If I thought you need to comb your hair, go outside. If I thought you need to pick your nose, go outside. Just don't do anything that make people get disgraced or people make you feel somehow. You get. Like, or make, make people feel somehow about you. You get. Don't comb your hair in the public. Don't. Floss your nose, don't pick your teeth. Like I I literally when, when when guys, girls, they got nest they're eating meat. Okay. Uh, okay, I get you. Don't eat, they are not picking their teeth to picking their teeth with the toothpick, the next thing. Uh -huh. Why are you laughing? Like, like what? Please don't do that, actually. Don't. Men are all these older men are fun of it. If, if you have to teach your man, your man is doing that kind of thing, just tell your uncle, uncle, please. The meat has finished, she's not running it. If it's a, if you're, if it's a habit, stop it. I don't like men that when they, they finish eating, the next thing they're putting to the guy, trying to be that invisible teeth. And first of all, flossing your teeth is not healthy for your teeth, it, it damages the gum of your teeth. When you finish moving your the meat in your teeth, then leave your teeth alone. Happen here, car, leave it alone. All right, so if you need to flush your teeth, let, let's not let that is just for the means for the meantime, and then after that, stop putting things in your teeth. Stop trying to always. I don't like swag, it's not swag, it's not romantic, it's not fine. Do you think that it's fine? It's not fine, so you just know. Um, give genuine compliments. Yes, this is very, very important. When you see it, when your friend dresses well, hide the person, say, uh uh, baby girl, you are hot, you are looking fire. Uh -uh. I hate when people just try like you see this picture is fine even on whatsapp side you see this picture is fine you'll be like uh uh you look so beautiful try and give compliments it helps the person you don't even know the person is passing through even if you don't know the person maybe it's your is your within your like your circle let's just say my hostel now you see someone that just be like uh uh you look good you know that kind of thing it makes the person happy it builds the person's self-esteem so people even just trust out what you said has made the person very happy good yourself let's start from there you get when someone is looking good wearing a very very nice clothes try and compliment uh -uh, i love your shoes uh -uh, legs for days man i love you uh -uh. so you're looking pen you know the person feels very happy you think that uh, the person is like, uh -uh, stop it but the person likes it i love compliments too most women love compliments even guys love compliments so try to give people compliments even your mother your brothers try to hide them make them happy you don't know if, even if nobody has told them that they look beautiful, just like one, just one, one thing you've told them you're looking, you're looking so fine today. Hmm. We don't just carry them to like this. I say, ha, I am ready for the world, you know. So please, very important. Then listen before speaking. So let us try in having and imbibe those habits of listening before speaking. So people are afraid of when you're talking. You know, they're like, Bleh. Bleh. You get just try and I, I know sometimes whenever you're very very hungry you just want to pour out every time you don't want to listen but ideally when someone is talking allow the person to land okay talk all right then then you say your own even if you want to correct the person this time just keep it down in your head behind your head and be like okay well, let me talk like now can i address my own can i say my own you get just try to listen before speaking it, it speaks well of you all right so please let's buy that wash your clothes iron your clothes and wear a perfume that was how one day when i was in a bus like this a bus like this like this i was seeing that one guy i want to die of smell and i'm very sensitive to smell like i'm very sensitive to smell so i was still like Nah, eh God, can this bus just be so fast? Can I get to my destination? I was choking on smell. The man, the, the guy was smelling fish, fish. Not just a guy, oh, there are even women too, smelling fish, fish. And um, on ironed clothes.
clothes as in and then the clothes is very dirty and i'm like god first of all i know there are people that are like they are trying to manage life and everything you know nigeria is very difficult as, as, as we all know that it's very difficult but for you and i that is leonard help the people that don't know about it at least when you're trying to when you're, when you're dressing well at least people that are out there don't know about it they will learn from you please iron your clothes like going for posting you see guys that are going to with the wear up put clothes or girls wear up put and you feel like you're you are you are uh, you're feeling yourself yeah, you don't have time even even if you have even if you don't even if you don't have friends with iron your clothes give it to a dry cleaner or either buy clothes that don't that doesn't need to iron it because like me i don't i don't like ironing i don't like ironing sincerely but what i do is i buy clothes most times that doesn't require ironing so like few of my clothes are more of iron clothes few of them are iron clothes most of them are not ironing ones so i can just wear it and you don't even know like like is a like a elastic clothes so it just sticks to my body so i don't really have to iron it so if you know that you don't really like ironing just make sure you do like me go and buy clothes that will not require use of ironing but if you need to iron try and iron your clothes or if you cannot even iron yourself there's ways to do it don't don't squeeze your clothes together try and like wrap it up in a box maybe in a box or in a drawer and arrange it together. It will just stay good. Then you just after after washing, you just squash, 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 squash. Say your bag. Please wear good perfume. Perfume, a good perfume speaks of you, whether you like it or not. Perfume is not very high to buy. Two K. Even though I'm, I'm, I'm spraying this um, what, every two two hours, so it can smell nice. Okay. You both have to buy the very expensive one, but wearing a good perfume speaks very good of you. All right, please let's try and do that. Imbibe that attitude. You don't have to go and buy. If you have body odor, go and buy perfume. It will help your self esteem. So if you want to go and shake that babe, you want to do something, you want to bag one, one, one um, deal like that. Just your, your dress that speaks a lot of you. don't know that. Don't think if you, look, if you go for an interview, look like a mad person. Your clothes is very scrumpy. Um, oh, yeah, you're, you're smelling ginger. They first said that first of all, you couldn't even take your organize yourself to bring yourself to look good and responsible. The comments come and bag our deal, then you're not fit for it. You get so please try and do that. Then I want then keep your environment clean. I'm not saying okay, yes, try and keep your environment, but here where I'm trying to emphasize on is people that show things through the motto. Let's say you're let's say you're in a moving bus or you're in your own private car, you are eating the next thing you talk. Out of the ball, out of the um, car window. It's not normal. It's not ideal. The ideal thing to do is when you don't eat in your food. And Nigeria is not good. It's not a very clean, clean, clean country. But no, get, no go carry your own uncleanness. Go add on top of the uncleanness. You get. Try and when you're done eating your things, fold it up in a nylon and put it in your bag. You get when you get to your hostel or where you stay. Then you throw it in the dustbin. All right. So that's actually ideal. Help keep Nigeria clean. Nigeria is terrible. So help. Make it better. You know we don't like how Nigeria is getting. I know, I know that. But please try. I did it. But these are things that you should do. All right. Because even if it's your father's house, you wouldn't want to throw things on the ground and litter the environment. No matter how, whatever you eat, even if it's that bad, tie it in a nylon, put it in your bag, and even if you cannot do it, look for someone that will give it. You give it to. You get. But seriously, that speaks well of you. Like when you throw things out of. The, I'm, I'm actually talking speaking to myself because I just learned this attitude. Like this year sincerely that's when you're not eating don't throw things out of the box it doesn't speak well of you a learned person an educated person shouldn't do that when you're not eating fold it up in your bag actually it does be even you're in the class don't throw it on the ground fold it up with your bag we're gonna throw it in the dustbin please stop literally the environment it's not good it doesn't speak well of you oh <sighs> i'm actually very tired but let's do this i'm almost done don't worry then don't correct people's grammar in the public if at all that you have to correct the person, do it politely, politely and privately. Someone is talking something next to that auntie, you know, um, it's, it's, it's worse and it's not. Uh, no, now I know that <laughs> actually I am guilty of that sometimes. But normally, when someone is, it doesn't speak a very good language, just act as if no, like I didn't hear this. You get. Hi, I've gone to the person's friend and be like, you know, you didn't say this very well. Because it's, it's, it's very annoying. It slows the person's self, self esteem. Unless if the person is not speaking it consistently, then how, guy? It will be, but normally, when someone doesn't speak a good grammar, maybe, maybe make some mistake with the words and where you get. Don't go and start making fun and say, I beg, Nigeria. English is not our language. We have different languages. Like me, I'm an, I'm an Igbo girl. So, now, Igbo, me, me, I know. So, we are all learning. It's not, it's not our. It's not our our father and mother's in our language so please be coming down to get so please let's try and when you're in the public or wherever you are when you want to correct somebody's language please don't do it in a very rude way or phone and start laughing at the person it's not good or correct the person in a very rude way that it's not, it's not supposed to be like this no 
Stay politely and privately, okay? If you have to do it or correct the person. When you're in a virtual meeting, please mute your mics. I'm talking to my classmates here. Or where, whoever does meeting. Try and mute your mic. Check before you start the meeting. Before you continue or log into the meeting, please check if your mic is on or off. It's ideal. That's just, it's respectful. It's not, we don't want to hear what's in your bag. And what else? Where is Mama and Kechi? Everybody, please stop. Try and just not and make sure that your um, uh, make sure that your your mic is mute, even your video off. You don't want to say that. All we want to do is just your ear. That's all we do. All the person that is presenting needs. Or that person says, okay, well, let me see your people's face. That's all. But normally, in virtual meeting, try and obey the rules guiding it. All right, please. Please, you guys, let me to ignore the voices in the background. I can't do without this voice. I don't know what you do. Just have to be today. Then another one, learn to smile. Please learn to smile. I know that Nigeria is very hard, as in the country is hard. Everything is rising back to back. But try and give a smile. Try and smile sometimes, you know. Whenever the life whenever life throws things at you, just smile because you got a bigger God. I said you got a bigger God. Try to smile whenever it's necessary because as if you're a cashier, if you're a customer, if you're because it lightens somebody's day, it makes someone happy knowing that you smile that thing. I'm telling you, it actually does that. Another one, talking to the last one, be punctual. Be very punctual when you go for a meeting or a class. Try to come on time so you can get everything. It speaks well of you. If you're going, if you're going to present, you're going for an interview or anything, come on time. It actually speaks well of you. I promise you that that has worked in so many marvelous ways for me, for my friends, people I know. Greet your elders. Greet your elders. Even might not even be a greet your elders. Greet your 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 mates. It's actually very. I'm telling you, but when you wake up in the morning, hey Rumi, good morning. Or maybe your guy, hey hey babe, good morning. Or um, or your mom, your dad, your brothers, good morning. You know it's. It won't take anything from you. Just good morning. That's all. You go your way. Maybe someone is in your company. You know the person older than you. Say like, good morning, sir. Good morning. You know, just learn to greet. It's it's good. It's it speaks well of you. Please, please try to greet. Channel flex is very very important, right? It speaks well of you. I've said this over and over again. These things I'm telling you right now, they help to boost your self esteem. They help you to know how to act right. Like I said before, all right. These are all I have to say about the basic etiquette. So. With these few points of mine, I hope I was able to convince you and not confuse you that being or sticking to basic etiquette helps you as a citizen, as a person living in our world today. All right, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me to the very end. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like and comment. Let's subscribe to my channel like and comment and don't forget to share to your friends all right you guys take care of yourself bye